All right, this is day number 24 for studying Japanese, learning Japanese with AI. But these days, it's kind of been like mostly with other resources, but we have been doing our best to still stick to the challenge and uh, the spirit of the challenge and everything. However, we are going to talk about uh, the previous days real quick because it has been a little bit since we've recorded. Um, as you can see, it's not... I don't remember what the past date was, but right here is day 22. These are some kanjis we learned based on ChatGPT's recommendations. We can actually just go there real quick so that we can see. So I basically went back to asking ChatGPT, like, oh, what's the grammar? I mean, what's the kanji? And I just said, hit me with some new kanji, and they did, but some of it wasn't new. So we got kangaeru, and then we got oshieru again. So we know that one. I think this is, I don't know why they have this dot here. It's kumi, right? Um, ugoku. Yeah, it's so strange. But we, we know this one. We learned this one in Japanese language school. And then we have tateru. That one was a new one for me. So I went over it, isoida or isogu. Oh, that's why they have the dot because that's like where, where it stops. That's where the symbol is. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's, I get it, I get it. Okay, and then tanoshi, that's a very, very recognizable one. Uh, I actually didn't realize also that it was, it's part of ongaku until I saw this, but it does make a whole lot of sense because I do remember seeing it in ongaku. And then tsukau and okiru, we know those two already. So basically I kept asking for more because they gave a lot of the ones I already knew. Hajimaru, this one's i, and this one's, nope, I have to look at it, do, I got it. So this was two days ago, so I'm sometimes I need a refresher for the newer, newer, newer ones. So this is do. Um, trying to remember it right now. Okay. And then we have e, which is part of e ga. And then what is this? Shin. Okay. Got it. Yeah, I've been learning a lot of kanji recently, so some of it is getting a little bit mixed up in my head. Got to be careful. Anyways, that is what we did in day 22. So we just did some reviewing for those kanjis and a little bit of the compounds as well and writing them down just a little bit. And then moving on, we, for day 23, what we ended up doing was playing the DS game. And we guys, we can show you guys right now. It basically is a legit uh, 3DS, I guess, that my girlfriend gave to me, my native source gave to me. And it has the only game that I will ever play on this because I just don't play games anymore. Oh, there's Japanese on here too. Uh, how do I turn it on? Okay. There's a power button right here. Let's see if the camera can see it. Yeah, I think so. Yay. So this is the game. And let me just set it up real quick. But it looks like this. Oh yeah, everything's like vertical. It's a very interesting experience. But a lot of it involves tapping. So this is Hajimaru. They have the a lot of furigana as well. Um, but basically, a lot of this is just like writing. And you kind of have to write it perfectly otherwise or you have to write it with the right stroke order otherwise it says that you're wrong um but i think i yeah nice 94 points for that one so get so the next one oh, what it, we're done with that one okay and the date is completely wrong i don't know uh, why it's that that date but here is the three different games so this one is pretty useful i found i was doing it yesterday and you can sort of see like all the kanji organized by year. I think this is like what grade it would be. And then there's like all of it just there. So these are the most basic ones. And then we have like the second level, <clears throat> sorry, the second level of the most basic ones and third level, and there's so many. Um, but I feel like this is really, really nice because all of it is just organized. And well, I guess I would have had to have paid for this if you know, I actually really wanted to get the game and all that stuff, but yeah, this is this is nice. Uh, I really appreciate my girlfriend for for giving me this because I feel like, well, I mean, she really wants me to learn kanji in general because she feels like it's very helpful for learning Japanese, and I I, I do feel like I've improved a lot with kanji um, since I started this challenge because I sort of see kanji very differently. I sort of actually see kanji. <laughs> I feel like back then I just skipped over it and I was like. Yeah, you know, it's kanji. I can't read it. I'm just going to skip it. But now I'm actually like looking. I'm legit looking and it makes a huge difference. It makes me like 
whenever I can recognize one, I feel very happy. And like I mentioned in a different video, it's it's pretty fun learning it, like just recognizing the patterns and and yeah, really really looking, you know, for for what you can recognize and what you can't, and new ones and yeah. But this is this is probably what I'm gonna use from here on. Like I'm just gonna go in order and like learn each kanji in order. Mudoru, let's go back. So that's kakitori, and let's try uh, doriru. I don't really know what that means, but basically what it is is you you have to like draw the kanji based on whatever is is there. So that says hayashi, and I have no idea how to write hayashi. I think it's just two two keys, right? Okay, I'm doing this like really far away from from where I actually am, but that's hayashi no ki. I'm assuming that's regular. No nemoto ni wa. What's nemoto? Nemoto ni wa. Namae. I forgot how what the kanji is for namae. This is not the right one, but I'll just do it. Namae no wakaranai kusa ga hae. By the way, I'm reading this off of my computer screen, not not like the the DS itself. So it's, it's a little bit small right now. Um, again, I have I have no idea, I don't know what kusa is. So I'm just going to write a random kanji. Okay, so it basically tells you what what's right and what's wrong, and then it shows you the right the right stuff, and you have to like do it again. But that's basically the whole thing. And so we're not, we're basically not using, I mean, it, it'd still be good to use Wani Kani and everything like that, but this is just a better way, like a better structure, in my opinion, to learn. Like there's kanji laid out for you, and then you're practicing stuff that you should theoretically know in the first level. And yeah, it's, it's a good process. I'm going to put this away now, but, but I feel like, um, I feel like uh, these days my practice, I feel like the most important thing for daily practice is having consistency and making it very simple and easy to actually do the practice. So that's what I've learned um, in this, after doing 24 days of this, is basically like, if every single time you're doing something different, it, it kind of gets difficult because you have to like switch your brain, switch your like, figure out what you wanna do. Even if ChatGPT tells you what to do, it's kind of like not optimal sometimes, you don't feel like doing it. Um, so it's better to know what to expect and better to just like repeat the routine in my opinion. So for me, that routine is basically, let's refresh this real quick. Um, that routine is basically like doing some grammar, like three of them uh, in Boom Pro and then doing three kanji. So for me, it makes the most sense to, to do it with Boom Pro because it's all organized for you and it doesn't repeat what you already know. And if you see something you already know, you can just like bookmark it. I mentioned that strategy in a different video. If you have already exhausted your free account, uh, three, 30 day free trial basically. And you just keep going, keep going. So three a day, and then eventually you'll reach the end, right? Um, and then for kanji also, eventually you'll reach the end, even though I'm 2% um, there for kanji for, for that DS game. So I have two structures to help me learn basically every grammar point I need to know to speak the language fluently and every kanji I need to know to survive in Japan if I wanted to read um, and if I wanted to text people in Japanese and not have to look it up. So to me, those are like two really, really solid things that like at this point I'm, I'm good, you know, like I don't need ChatGPT's help anymore to, to continue improving with those two things because I have created that routine and structure but doing this whole challenge has has sort of like helped me get there and realize that which is really good um and i did mention like what chat gpt is actually really good for which is like generating like common conversations and also like the text generative aspect of it basically like talking to it texting it but that's not helpful until i get to a base level a baseline level of being able to read um so that's just something that I'm going to need to work on. And then I can start utilizing ChatGPT more properly. I think at the end though, like day 30, for instance, we're going to try to do like a thing where we can talk with ChatGPT in like a more, like I'll ask it to like maybe restrict itself to JLPT level N5 or N4, uh, probably N4 because that's around my level. And then like try to have like a good conversation with ChatGPT. That'll probably be like my final video. Um, and we'll do a few tests as well. But for the time being, like, I think like we've come to the point where 
these videos are yeah not as uh interesting i guess like i guess i can go over every single like boon pro thing over time on these videos but like i don't know i feel like just just doing it whenever i can is is a is a good thing so i don't want to necessarily do that um but i do want to make more interesting videos related to like ai learning or learning japanese using ai um but i just need to get to that level first i feel um but i can also use it to test out like the grammar i've learned so far as well which is what we will do today because every time we record we're going to try our best to use like chat and and make it a thing instead of just doing the usual thing because now from now on basically we'll do the usual thing off camera um, because it's just not as interesting i suppose so the what we have to figure out now is how to use or chat to help me review these grammar points um so hmm i think the best thing to do is just generate your own sentences using these grammar points and the way ChatGPT can help you probably is by telling you what the topic is and what to say i suppose let's try to do stuff okay let's go to grammar okay hi i would like to review some grammar that I recently learned. I'll tell you what the grammar point is as we go, but can you basically help me by reviewing the sentences I create? Can you give me a prompt or question that can give structure for the sentences I create? I feel like I'm being a little ambiguous. Let's see what ChatGPT does. Okay, I'd love to, I'd love to help you review. Here's how we can structure this. I'll give you a prompt or question and you can create a sentence using the grammar points you want to review. After that, I'll review your sentence and provide feedback or corrections if needed. Let's get started. Here are a few prompts to begin with. Describe a goal you're working on recently. Um, use yoni suru to express an effort or habit you're trying to establish. Tell me about something you've experienced. Use ta aru. Use, uh, okay, so it's telling me what to use, which isn't good. I mean, I, I wish it had like access to this, then it can tell me exactly like what to use, but feel free to let me know the grammar point you'd like to use as you go and I'll provide feedback. Yeah. Hold on, I need to refresh myself. Oh. I'll put what I'm working on like this and then I'll write a sentence after that and you can tell me if I used the grammar point correctly, okay? I'm going to try to say anyone, anyone can learn Japanese, I guess. 誰でもは, should it be wa? 誰でも, I'm going to exclude wa. 日本語を習える, 習います, 習います, 習える, 習える. Okay, so, 誰でも日本語を習える, potential form, 習う. This sentence means anyone can learn Japanese. Great job. Let's move on to the next one when you're ready. Okay. I'm just gonna check to make sure that there is no one, n nothing after that. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there usually is. Yeah, there's no particle afterwards. Okay, that's good. We did use it correctly. All right, then we use yasui. So I feel like ChatGPT's part here in doing this can, but I'm trying to figure out like a good way for it to prompt me for what to say. But I suppose that's sort of being uncreative with it. But I just want ChatGPT's role to be like a little bit more engaged, I guess. Let me think. Actually, can you also give me a prompt for what to write when I give you the grammar point? I'll just type it in with high, with parentheses like this. Yes, sweet. Let's not turn it into... Okay. Okay, got it. Here's your prompt for yes, sweet. Describe something that is easy to do or convenient for you. Okay. Describe something that is easy or convenient for me to do. So I should say she yasui most likely. Okay, let's try, let's say a sentence that's not true. No, I feel like we should say something that is true. Uh, geez, why is this so difficult? Things are way harder than usual. Okay, okay let's just say mainichi soto de aruku yasui. I'm trying to say that it's easy to walk outside every day. All right. Oh, it should be aruki yasui, right? Okay, again. Talk about a place or situation where it's easy to relax or have fun. Okay. Kara oke de asobi yasui. All right. Asobi yasui implies easy to play. 
as in playing around or having fun in a general, general sense, but asobu might not be the best verb for enjoying karaoke. A better verb would be to sing, as karaoke is mo more about singing. Okay, got it. I think there's like a nuance that I'm trying to remember that I don't fully remember. So I feel like I have to just look it up real quick. It's like easy to do. Caution, there's another. Yes, we means cheap, not that one from Pact. It's almost never used by itself in such cases. It's more natural to use na kantan. No, I guess I'm just imagining things. Okay, let's try one more. One more. I want to be able to use this, you know. Describe a task or job that is easy to complete or finish. Okay. Amari henshu henshu shinai doga wa yasui. Word intended is likely henshu. Yes, you're correct. It is henshu. It's editing instead of henshu, which means mutation. <laughs> also, it's better to slightly rephrase it for natural flow. Amari henshu shinai doga wa yakari tsukuri yasui. That's what I said, right? Amari henshu shinai doga wa tsukari yasui. Yeah. Okay. Nice. I think we would have gotten it if we just figured out what henshu is. And I think this time we actually came up with a good sentence uh, thanks to ChatGPT's prompting. So this is actually a good way to practice with ChatGPT. This is good. Uh, this is what I wanted to use ChatGPT for last time. Let's do nikui. Parentheses don't matter. There we go. Talk about something that is difficult to understand, use, or do. Something that is difficult to understand. Okay. Renai wa wakari nikui. It's a very simple sentence. Love relationships are difficult to understand. That is exactly what I was trying to say. I've hit the free plan limit for 4.0. We are now using 4.0 mini. Okay. The sentence means love is hard to understand. Let's do another one. Another one. Describe a situation or concept that is difficult to explain or to teach someone. Okay. That's a good one. Uh, lots of things. Let's see. Let's try this. Ego de. Or should I say ego no? I think ego no. Muzukashi tango wa. Oshie. Oshie mas. Oshie mas. Oshie nikui. You're very close. There's a small correction needed with muzukashi tango. The verb stem form of oshiaru. Okay, let's fix it. Ego no muzukashi tango wa. Oshienikui. Isn't that exactly what I said? I left out E. Yeah, I left out E. I think that was it, though. I think that was good. Okay, nice. I think I get the grammar point enough. Okay, let's try dan dan now. Honestly, this this might take the whole session. Skill you're improving or weather. That's not the right word. Alright, I don't want this right now, ChatGPT. Just give me one version. なってきています。僕の日本語話すのはだんだん上手になってる。なってきています seems more right in this case. 会話力 Interesting. Let's I think I prefer this response, assuming it's correct and there's like nothing wrong with it. But let's move on. Don don. Okay. Let's do don don. Pretty much the same thing. Let's do manichi. Boku wa nihongo no kon tape. Kon tape. Go no pod do cast. Ka cast do. Pod do cast do. Pod do ka cast do. How do you say podcast? Pod do ka do. That's the best I can do. But the katakana doesn't show up. You know, I'm just gonna write it in English. Manichi boku wa nihongo no podcast o ki kiku kara. I don't know how to describe like listening skills, so I'm just gonna say kiku no don don kiku chikara kiku ku chikara. That's not right. Kiku. There we go. Chikara wa don don jozu ni natta natte kiku. I think something like that, yeah. It is far harder to, to do this than I expected. A few adjustments, okay. I guess this is how you do podcast. Jeez, I'm not going to be able to remember that. That's kind of very confusing to me. Okay. 
because I listen to Japanese podcasts every day, my listening skills have Im rapidly improved. Key corrections, Nihongo, should be used, uh, should be written in kanji as. Is that not what I did? Oh, I guess, my bad. Uh, okay. Ikuchi kara ga. It's better to use ga instead of wa here to emphasize what is improving. Okay. All right. This is good. This is, uh, assuming ChatGPT is right about all of this, um, we're getting like feedback as we try to make sentences with the new grammar points that we learned. So this is like the best way of reviewing that I can think of as of this moment. I think the ra is pretty easy. So we'll just move on to teiku. teiku. Talk about something that will continue or change from now on, such as a skill you'll keep improving or a situation that will evolve. Slight issue with the phrasing it means early or fast, but it's more natural to use hayaku when referring to speed of the music or motion. Also, instead of ni natte itta, it's better to use hayaku natte itta directly with naru to describe the gradual increase in speed. So no ongaku wa don don hayaku natte itta. The music gradually got faster and faster. Let's try it one more time, just because I feel like this one's diff a more difficult one. Describe something that slowly changes over time, like a habit you're developing or a situation that's evolving. Habit developing. Okay. Manichi moto wa moto nihongo o kanji o dandan yome dandan yome te iku. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not fully sure, but I guess ChatGPT will tell me. You're really close with the sentence. There are a couple adjustments needed for natural phrasing and grammar. Manichi boku wa motto nihongo no kanji ga dandan. Ah, I said o. I should have, yeah. Ga is usually used with like potential form. Yomeru you ni natte iku. Yomeru you ni. Every day I gradually become able to read more and more Japanese kanji. Why is it yomeru you ni? Please explain. Okay. Yomette iku. Yomeru you ni natte iku. Yomeru is the potential form of read, meaning can read. You ni naru indicates a change in ability to become able to do something. Hmm, I see, I see. So that's another use of yo ni. Yo ni naru. To be able, to become able to do something. Okay. And then teiku shows the gradual progression over time. Kanji ga ga. Okay, dan dan. Use correctly to indicate gradually. This sentence is now smooth and natural. Nice. Hmm. Okay, let's try tekuru. Describe something that has gradually happened or developed over time, like a habit you've picked up, or something that has recently started changing. It's the difference between like te iku and tekuru. It's slightly confusing to me, but tekuru or tekita means like becoming. Okay. Manichi oku wa undo shiteru kara kenko ni natte kita. Try that. All right, it says my sentence is great. You've used tekuru correctly to express that you've been gradually getting healthier over time. Uh, slight refinement though. To make it more natural, you can use the full form of the verb. What's this one? Undo shiteru? I don't even realize what I'm typing sometimes. Okay. Instead of the casual form, shiteru, shiteru, if you want to keep a more formal tone. Okay. I pretty much always drop the E. I just find it so much easier to say that way. Refined sentence. Okay, yeah. your original sentence is clear and effective though. Would you like to try another one or move on to a different grammar point? Let's move on. But yeah, takuru. I, I feel like I can use that one more. But ooh, I just feel like, ah, I don't know. I just feel like I have like a block with using it. Like I get it, sort of, but like using it is kind of mysterious to me. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to get through all of this. But I feel like it's a, it's a, good, it's a good use of ChatGPT for sure. Like just having it prompt you for how to use a grammar point and then like you trying to use it and then it telling you like how to fix it. Like that is another good use of ChatGPT that like we wanted to try last time when we were doing this and have finally put into practice. And yeah, definitely solid. Like I feel like there's a lot of potential for ChatGPT that I'm not quite tapping into, um, but primarily just because of the, I guess the, um, the creativity involved in how you would need to use ChatGPT. I, I think like if you ask ChatGPT to test you and do a lot of stuff by itself, 
it'll do very basic things. But if you like can think of a better way to like prompt ChatGPT to help you, um, it can do some pretty interesting things, I think. And this is one of them for sure. I'm just trying to relate it to the stuff that I'm already doing, like the basic stuff that most people will, will be doing already and seeing how ChatGPT like can integrate in to that. I still need to think of a better like kanji learning method probably other than it res explaining radicals since Wani Kani can do that quite well. But yeah, I, I think like testing elements is pretty solid as well. Um, and a good way of doing kanji simply is like, just can you create a quick passage with N4 kanji for me to read? Can you create a quick passage? This is a test of my kanji ability. Oh, there it is. Take your time reading it and let me know if you like to check your understanding or if you want to discuss any specific parts. So I think what I will do is actually type it out as I'm reading it. That way I can verify whether or not I'm right immediately. So we have my asa, watashi wa. You know, typing is kind of slow, but it does help me practice it as well. Koen, koen de joggingu o shimasu. Soko de takusan no hito ni aimasu. What a strange, like it doesn't seem very natural. Um, okay, that's the kanji for toki or jikan, but I don't know what goes after it. Is that toki doki? Yeah, it is toki doki. Okay, toki doki. I kind of just guessed that I was toki doki. Okay, tomo dachi to isho ni hashirimas. Jogging o shita ato wa shita ato cafe de kohi o nomu no ga ski des. Totemo tanoshi jikan o sugosu koto ga dekiru kara des. Totemo tanoshi jikan o sugosu koto ga dekiru dekiru kara des. What does that last sentence even mean? Okay, I just typed it out while reading. Can you check to see if it matches? Great effort. Here's your type passage with, with corrections noted. Okay, this might just be like mistypes because I know that it's no. Okay, and then this is correction. <laughs> I messed up. Let's see. Interesting. What is it? Oh, that's what it is. It's a small two. Okay, I see it right now. All right. This also really helps me with like isho. It helps me with uh, knowing how things are actually written in hiragana because sometimes I just know how they're said. So I don't know the hiragana. Cool, cool. Your reading and comprehension skills are coming along well. If you'd like to practice more or need clar clarifications on anything, let me know. This is actually kind of fun. I actually like doing this. It's It helps me with my typing as well. So let's try again. Can you give me another passage and try to make it a bit more natural sounding or interesting this time. Actually, wait, can you explain the meaning of it in English, of it, of the passage? Because I want to know the last sentence. It's because I can spend a very enjoyable time. What does that mean? After jogging, I like to drink coffee at a cafe. It's because I can spend a very enjoyable time. Like, what? It's so confusing. Oh, well, let's see. Can you give me another passage and try to make it a bit more natural sounding or interesting this time? Here's a more engaging passage. All right, let's do this. Crap, I don't know what the first compound is. I know it's yasumi and then he, but like, what is the full word? Yasumi, he, uh, holiday, right? I should know this. My native source has mentioned it before. Ah, uh, dang it. I just don't know, so I'll just put X's. No, asa, watashi wa hayaku na kwai okishite koen, koen ni ikimasu. Shizuka na sora? What is fuinki? Maybe sora fu. Because sora is like atmosphere and that's key, so fuinki. Oh, come on. Nah, not quite. I'm wrong. I'm just trying to guess what that combination would be. What sort of is onyomi? I don't know. Uh, tenki, right? No? No. Dang, I don't know what it is. Okay. Shizuka na X ki no nakade tori no koe o kiki nagara joggingu o suru no ga ski des. Toki doki tomo dachi to atte atte isho isho ni 
走りますか今日は一人でゆっくりと楽しむことにしましたジョギングの後はお気に入りのカフェで新しいスイーツスイーツ新しいスイーツを Crap, what is that? I don't know. You just have to put an X there. Shite miru yo te desu. Oishi, oishi, oishi kohi to isho, isho ni relaxu shita toki o sugo seru koto ga tano shimi desu. Okay, typed it while reading again. Can you correct? All right. I'm gonna actually try my best to just read it real quick. Ah,、uh, no. Let's let's just get the the kanji real quick, and then we'll we'll、uh, know how to actually read the proper ones right there. Okay. Correction. Oh, kyojitsu. Q Q Kyojitsu. Kyojitsu. Ah, like Q Q K means break, and then this is jitsu jitsu. Okay, so that's the onyomi maybe. Jitsu probably one of many onyomis. I would assume this kanji has a lot of onyomis. Let's find out. It's jitsu and nichi. Okay, just two. Kyu jitsu. Okay, what is this explanation? Hayao, haya, haya, hayaoki. Okay, probably could have figured that out intuitively <laughs> or guessed it at least. Koen ni. Okay, I just missed the ni there. Chizuka na. Finally, tell me what this is. Kuki means air. Kuki. Interesting. Okay, I just messed up the typing here. That's fine. Oh, I guess I I did Toki, but it's Jikan instead. Got it. Jikan fits better. All right, now we should be able to read it and see if we can fully understand it. While typing, I don't understand it. Unfortunately, I am too focused on reading bit by bit rather than figuring out the meaning of the passage. Okay, let's try it again. This time with the corrections. So it's Kyujitsu, Kyujitsu no, Kyujitsu no asa, Kyujitsu no asa. 私は早起きして早起きして公園に行きます。静かな空気の中で鳥の声を聞きながらジョギングをするのが好きです。Okay, so it's like while it's quiet in the air.、Uh, on a holiday morning, I wake up early and go to the park. With a quiet air, or during a quiet air, I、uh, I can hear I hear the birds chirping while Running,、uh, or I like hearing the birds chirping while running. And then, toki toki, munachi to at atte isho ni hashiri maska. Sometimes I meet with a friend and we run together, but itori de yukuri yukuri to tanoshimu koto ni shimashita. I don't fully understand that. I know it says like today was alone, so you can take it slow. But what is tanoshimu koto to to ah、uh, ni shimashita? What does that mean? Like it was fun? Okay, jogging no ato wa okini no cafe de atarashi sweets o right. I didn't I didn't even get a chance. What was this one? Did they did they say anything about that? I think they just missed it. Yeah, they just missed it. Okay, let me just put this in Wani Kani real quick. It's just she. She is it is it really just she? She she that I don't know I don't know about that. Let's see. Is it Tameshi? Tameshi? Oh、uh, no. Okay. I need to ask about this one later. Steru miru, steru miru, yote desu. So it says after jogging, ah,、uh, going to the my favorite cafe. That's what oki niri means. And then trying a new sweets. Have a plan to try new sweets. Okay. Oishi kohi to isho ni relaxu shita. It's like they're excited to basically relax. I don't know. It seems kind of unnatural. That last sentence seems kind of unnatural, but I'm not sure. Okay, I'm just gonna type this in, and I'm pretty sure ChatGPT will understand what I want to do. It is tameshi, tameshi. It is not shishi tem temiru. Okay, that is good to know. Tameshi temiru, tameshi temiru. Can you explain the full thing in English? Ay, 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 not that. I meant the passage. Wow, it really, really needs me to to be specific. I meant the passage. I meant your passage. Okay, 
every morning I go jogging in the park. There I'm not this one. Uh, is is it's not this one, right? Did it mix the passages? Oh my gosh. Okay, let me let me just be very specific about this. Not that passage. The one that starts with Q Q uh Jitsu. Crap. Q Jitsu. Okay. Yes. I can say holiday now. Q Jitsu. Because I had to say it a lot. Yo, I had to like prompt ChatGPT like four different times. I know it wasn't very specific, but like I feel like the smarter version would have gotten it. 4 0 mini, man. All right. Let's see. On my days off, I go to see movies and shopping with my friends. What? When did this happen? They just generated a whole new passage. What's happening? Uh, you know what? I'm just going to type in the passage. This is kind of funny. It's like a few minor corrections for clarity. You're the one who generated this. Oh my gosh. That's so funny. All right. It's, it's, it's gone full stupid on me. That's, that's upsetting. Okay. Rex meaning go to the park. Okay, this is the part we wanted. Kyowa is uh Hitori da Yukuri to Tanoshimu Koto ni Shimashita. I decided to enjoy it solely by myself. Okay. I'm gonna ask about this, but let's read on. That's fine. We understand that. Excuse me. Okay, I mean it actually didn't give itself any corrections because it just said everything was correct. Um but it I guess the way it's speaking is Confusing. I'll be very clear. Can you explain this and break it down? Tanoshimu. Tanoshimu. Meaning to enjoy. Oh, that's a verb. Okay, that makes that makes a lot of sense. I still feel like it's slightly unnatural though, to be honest. Like the way certain sentences are structured and said, like it just doesn't feel natural to me. I'm not a native speaker, but like I talk to one every day and I just feel like a lot of this is unnatural. I, I will check back for sure anyways we spent a, a pretty long session today i feel like it was a good session overall um but yeah this is me getting back into recording once in a while i feel like when i don't record for two days i already feel like it's it's like a while since i've recorded while wow, it's crazy i guess it was because there was like a good week or two i think it was like two weeks where we re recorded like every single day so that that felt very very consistent and good um not that my practice outside of recording is not bad. Now that I've done it, I feel like I, I can continue to do it. Um, but definitely the recordings here, I, I feel more engaged and more focused for sure. Versus like when I'm eating dinner and looking on my phone at Boom Pro or something. Uh, it's, it's less stimulating, I think. I'm not, I feel like I'm not as engaged, but it's still good that I can do it outside and that I'm not just like tied to doing it here. Otherwise I feel like that'd be bad. That'd be like me having to record myself every single time to practice Japanese, um, which is like not necessarily a terrible thing, but like it's, uh, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this one. I feel like our utilization of ChatGPT was good uh, this this episode, this uh, practice session, but I do feel like ChatGPT, ChatGPT got real dumb towards the end. I, yeah, there's like a limited amount of use time or use cases I can do which is a kind of a good thing. I feel like it's like, once it gets dumb, let's just not use it anymore. Let's let's move on to other things or let's call it a session, you know? So that that's something, it's like a built-in timer or built-in like you've practiced enough, you know? So yeah, that's cool. And we still got our, our DS to practice with now and also just Boom Pro, just like keep going, keep going. Three new grammar per day. And honestly, like, just by doing kanji and grammar and listening, especially listening, I've been doing a lot of listening, mostly for Nihongo Kontape. Um, I, I feel like I'm learning grammar every day. Like I, I learned what Gyongo is and I learned what Zatsudon is, or was it Zatsudan? I think it might've been Zatsudan. Small talk, but Gyongo is really funny too. Like it's just repeated words. Uh, the most common one that I knew beforehand was uh, Poyo Poyo, which means like soft, I guess. Like we use it to refer to like maybe like I ate too much or something and then like my native source or yeah Japanese native source my girlfriend poked my belly and stuff and said poyo poyo so <laughs> that's like that's a uh, giongo but I, I'm learning so many new terms from just listening to the Japanese podcast that I honestly don't think I need to study vocabulary I, I personally really hate like flashcards like Anki and stuff like that it's to me it's like one of the most boring things in the world. So I'm just learning vocab through talking and listening. 
and that's it. So, and then now through kanji and, and grammar practice as well. So that's like already a lot. And I don't think I need to focus on vocab. It's, it's just not for me personally. I, I just can't do it. I know a lot of my friends have like recommended Anki and, and like they do that, the flashcard stuff all the time, but I just can't, I, I, I really can't. I can force myself to, but I, why force myself to do something when I feel like I'm already like enjoying the process of doing other things and like learning it at the same time. So yeah, that's, that's the uh, progress update for this one. I think I'll be just doing some normal uh, basic learning stuff for the next few days and then I'll do another recording. Yeah, it'll eventually probably become a rhythm where we do a recording maybe like once a week because um, we'll start making other content. And yeah, once that happens, like this, this will definitely be lesser, but we'll still try to make videos with our progress with Japanese because I feel like that's going to be, it's going to be a long journey, honestly. And at a certain point, I'm pretty sure I'm going to try to take one of the JLP, JLPT tests, probably the N2 one. Um, I, I don't feel like wasting money uh or time on the n3 one because n2 is kind of like the bare minimum you need for like work and all that stuff so um but I'll certainly take practice tests if i can find them online um, but yeah just gonna document my progress just keep going past the 30 days for sure um but until then we'll try to do every few days so catch you guys in the next one peace